Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the lippage system that I use on my uh, most of my uh, tiling jobs. Lippage is when you have one of the corners or the four corners of a of a tile and they're not at the same elevation from the wall where one corner is protruding out further than the uh, say the adjacent diagonal corner and it makes your tiles look uneven and gives you a poor job so when you're using large tiles like in the shower project I had it was 12 inch by 24 inch tiles you want to use a lippage system to reduce the amount of unevenness in the uh, in the tiles. I'm going to show you how the system I use to work. The system I use is called Spin Doctor and you can buy these these red caps in boxes of 100 and I'll show you what else comes with the system. You can also buy what they call a spacer post and these spacer posts come in three different configurations. Uh, one is is plain like this where you can put two tiles next to each other and I'll show you that again then there's one with a triple and there's one with a quad where you have four corners and I'll show you that again in a minute they also come with uh, a protective disc so if you're using soft tiles like in my case I was using marble what would you do is you would have this behind the tiles. You'd slip over the protector and then you would spin on your your leveler. And if my fingers are the tiles, what you're doing is you're pulling the, the bottom of the fingers, the bottom of the tile, flush with the top. And this protector stops the plastic spinner from damaging the soft tiles like marble and uh, that gives you when you pull this tight from the back that gives you a level tile system in the front all your tiles are level okay there's another system okay there's another system made by rigid and it's called level max you buy the same thing you buy the spinners in the by the box of by 100. Again, it comes with the three different spacer posts. One is for two tiles coming together. One is for four corners of a tile. And the other one is where you have two corners and the edge of a tile that comes together. Now, the good thing about it is the spacer posts and the caps for the rigid and the spin doctor are all interchangeable so you can you can take the spin doctor one off and you can put the uh, level max system on the same spinner post and they work fine okay here's an example here of the two sides of a tile coming together and again in, in that that configuration you'd be using the Spinner post that doesn't have any uh, additional little tabs on it. It'd just be the, the post itself. Goes in like that. And again, you would just put your spinner on top of it. And as you're tightening your spinner, you're pulling these tabs from the back. That's pulling your tiles level again. Okay, here's a, a four-corner configuration. The the post for that one has four corners on it and it sits in there and with these little all these little slots are doing is giving you your 1 16th inch spacing that you want to have be between your tiles so in a real life situation they would be coming together like that and leaving your your gap that you need for your tiles a 1 16th inch gap in this case, since it's marble, I'd be putting my protector on it and then quickly spin your tile on it, your spinner on it, and you tighten down your spinner and it's pulling all of these 
four, four areas, these four corners are all flush and level with each other. Gives you a good looking tile system. Here's an example of the last configuration. And it's two corners of a tile meeting the longer length of a adjacent tile. So what you have is a spacer tab here that separates these two tiles by a sixteenth of an inch and the longer tab that separates all of these. So pretty much that's the three configurations you have. You buy these spacing posts in boxes of 100. Okay. Okay, once the tiling job is complete, you're gonna come back in later and you're gonna hit these spinners with a with anything. You can kick them with your foot, hit them with your hand. I use a rubber mallet. What it does, it knocks it off and it leaves it leaves this piece here underneath the tile where you don't see it anymore. I use these anywhere I need to for another tile job wherever I need one sixteenth inch spacers. These these systems work extremely well. There's one problem you can have with them. I'm gonna show you how to deal with that at the end of the video. But you wanna keep these edges of the tiles clean because if you get thin set on here and it it will sometimes actually cement the, the spacer post to the edge of the tile. And then when you go to to break it off, it won't break cleanly at the bottom of the plastic. This will break off up in this area here and cause a problem because part of this plastic will be sticking up through the crack, back up through this crack and you have to deal with that. I'll show you how to handle those uh, at the end of this video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove some of the <clears throat> spin-on tile holders. When you're doing these, you wanna hit the uh, holder in the direction of, the, of the, the gap between the two tiles and breaking it off. So all you do is give it a quick, quick hit Just like that with a rubber mallet. And you can see that it breaks this piece off. It broke right here and this piece stays in the wall. And then it, if it breaks clean, you don't see any, any of it left in here. So when you put your grout line in, uh, you feel that your grout line will hide. What's left in there? Doesn't take long, we're gonna go ahead and knock them off. You can see how quickly they come off and leaves you a clean tile, clean clean tiles to grout. You won't see any of those. So they're perfect for alignment tools and I, I recommend them to anybody. So finish knocking them off. I had about 50 of the spinners on the tiles and out of the 50, all of them came clean except one. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It actually must have got between the edge of the tile and the and the plastic and cemented it in place. 
So you want to be careful. I can get a good picture when I blow it up. And one of the tabs that come with the uh, <clears throat> spinning leveling system that right here didn't break clean. So instead of it breaking clean and leaving leaving no piece in there, it, it broke off unevenly and left a part of this right here where you can see it. And I need to get this below the surface of the tile so it could be covered by the grout. I tried hitting it this way with a screwdriver both ways and if you're not careful you'll damage the tile itself. <clears throat> the marble is a very soft stone and it's easy to damage. So I've tried roto zips, I've tried vibrating tools, I've tried uh, grout cleaning tools. The grout cleaning tool would be good to use in some situations but in this one with a 1 16th inch grout line here. <clears throat> Such a tight grout line, the uh, grout cleaner starts cutting the edges of the, of the tile. So what I'm gonna use instead is a standard uh, soaring iron. What I'm gonna do is melt the plastic and get it behind there once it heats up. See what we can do, see if the soldering iron is hot enough. Soldering iron is going to melt that plastic and it's not going to hurt the stone. So this takes a second. You can see what I'm doing. I'm pushing the melted plastic back inside into the crack. And that's all I need to do right there. Clear the old plastic off. That should be good enough. You won't even notice it once we uh, put the grout in place. On this one, there was thin set on this tab that's in here and it cemented the plastic tab to the edges of the tile. And that's when you, they don't break off evenly. You have to get it back underneath the surface of the tile. And that's the best way out. I don't know how to do it without damaging the tile. Again, we had about 50 of these and only one of them did not break evenly. So it's not like you're gonna have a lot of them, but you do need to take care of the ones, the few that give you trouble. <clears throat> 